Like a lot of streamers on Twitch, I play a variety of games, but often managing them in OBS can be quite a chore. Having them all in one scene can leave a huge number of sources to manage. A scene per game means you need lots of hotkeys to swap back and forwards, and you can't easily copy layouts between scene collections. Hi, I'm Jamie, aka Largan Live, and in this video we're going to look at how to use nested scenes to better manage your multiple games. There's a variety of streaming tutorials available on this channel, so don't forget to subscribe to get notified when new tutorials are out. I also regularly stream over on Twitch, so come and check me out, the link for which is in the description below. Nested scenes are where you can insert a second scene as a source inside of your main scene. This lets you build up your individual game layouts, such as a current Pokemon team display, and then have it appear as just a single source in your main scene, which you can enable as needed. You're also not restricted to just a single level like when using groups. You can have multiple scenes each nested within each other. You could use this for even more neatness and control by having, for example, a master game scene containing the layouts for all your games, which then just shows up as a single source in your main layout. Then all you need to do before you start streaming is just enable the relative game in your game scene and swap to your nice clean main layout. How many levels of nested scenes do you think you could come up with? Let us know in the comments below. Let's take a look at how to make one of these scenes. For this example, I'm going to build a scene for my hard mode playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake, which needs to contain, along with the video capture, a death and a chapter counter. First of all, I'm going to make a new scene, which I'm going to label game-ff7r, just for the alphabetical organising. Then I can go ahead and add my video capture card and my two text fields, which I'm going to cheat for in reference for the ones in my main layout before I delete them. Once we've got our layout sorted, I can swap back to my main layout and insert a new scene. This time, selecting a source scene and picking the new remake layout I've just made. Then, after setting the order and the position, we have the new layout as a single source, which can easily be toggled as required. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have, don't forget to give it a like and get subscribed for more tutorials. And why not check out my streams over on Twitch, the link for which is in the description below. Thanks for watching.